Hi, it's Scott Perkins, one of the Bearded Butchers, and welcome to another video on your favorite butchering channel, the Bearded Butchers. Today, we're gonna to be showing you our favorite method for cooking uh, a nice steak. It can be a really expensive piece of meat, and that's gonna be the reverse sear method. It's got a lot of popularity lately. Today, we're gonna to be using the Big Green Egg Lump Charcoal Grill. We're gonna be using the Traeger Wood-Fired Pellet Grill, and we're also gonna be using a good old-fashioned cast iron skillet with your oven at home. So follow me inside while I pick out a couple of nice steaks. And the reason we want to cover this is we want you, whenever you buy something, to be able to buy with confidence, especially if you're buying an expensive cut of meat or one of the reasons why I chose um, the cuts that we're going to use is because they're very lean. So it's going to be a lot like wild game. So today we're going to be choosing uh, pretty much the most expensive cut we have, which is a center cut uh, filet. This just does so happen to be from the side of beef that you saw recently on our butchering channel. So I've got three same thickness here and we're gonna be putting those on the three different cooking methods. Um, one thing I wanna stress is people have talked about, you know, I can't afford the big green egg, I can't afford the Traeger. You know, most of you have a car and I'm not trying to relate a grill to a car, but the idea is that you skip a vacation, you save up your money, you don't go out to eat as much and you get what we would call the ultimate cooking experience, which is one of those two methods. Um, you won't find us using a gas grill in this video. We simply don't really like using gas. We always say meat over fire. We prefer if that's a wood fire. So one of the things I did want to touch on today, I'm going to be using a um, instant read thermometer. This happens to be the big green egg brand. There's a number of them out there for, let's say what you might spend on two steaks. You can buy this thermometer. If you buy a good one, they're going to last quite a while and you'll never have a piece of meat that you overcooked and it wasn't as good as you'd hoped it could be or live up to its full potential. So I'm going to set these out. They're going to come up to room temperature while we prep our grills. Stay tuned and we're going to show you how to do these steaks to perfection. All right, so you know the only way to season a steak is with Beard of Butcher Blend seasoning. Today I'm gonna to be using original. First up is gonna be the big green egg. So we set the big the big green up big green egg up for indirect. And I'm just gonna season it liberally on all sides with the original. And the reason why I didn't season ahead of time, and there's some signs to this that the salt will draw the moisture out. So now that I've got it seasoned, we're just going to take this beautiful cut of meat and we're going to put it on the big green egg where it's going to smoke indirect until it reaches an internal temperature of about 110. All right, second up is our Traeger wood pellet grill. Once again, we're just going to liberally season on all sides with our Beard of Butcher Blend Original. We really like Original for steaks. Um, burgers, of course we say use it on everything. A little pro tip, if you do it on a piece of paper or something like this or a bag, you can sort of rub it around. And in this case, I'm gonna put it up here on my smoke shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat probe in. We're gonna let that smoke at 225 until it reaches an internal about 110. Then we'll set it out while we get started for our reverse sear. All right, last but not least, you're in my kitchen. And the reason why I said something about, you know, the big green egg versus the Traeger, the cost, you probably have a car, is because, you know, 
that's one thing we do here. I don't, you know, I can't afford a big green egg. I can't afford a Traeger. And that's why I said, you know, skip a vacation. Don't go out to eat as much because we feel like those are two of the, you know, best cooking experiences. You're going to be eating the rest of your life. So go ahead and invest in those. However, we're mindful of the fact that maybe you live in an apartment. However, um, so today I'm just going to be using my um, gas oven along with a cast iron skillet. We're going to use the, the oven to do the reverse sear method. So you're going to get basically the same effect. I do have the oven at 275 because we're not really smoking in here versus like the 225, um, more of a smoke temperature with the, uh, the big green egg and the Traeger. So um, I just want to show to, to you guys that you can uh, do this at home. And I've in fact got my cast iron all set up and I actually put a big pad of butter in that and I went ahead and put it in the oven already. And the reason I did that is um, whenever I do place this in the oven, I'll just pull that cast iron skillet out uh, maybe five, five minutes ahead of time or so. And then it'll be pre-warmed and ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this in my oven, 275. Let it get up to about that 110 internal. Pull my cast iron out. And we'll give it a sear. It's going to be awesome. All right. Hit internal on our big green egg. It's time to set this aside while we pull out our convector which does our indirect convert this over to direct and we'll get ready for our sear on our big green egg all right so convector came out and all we did was open up our bottom damper took the top off you got to really stay close to the grill when you do, whenever you do this and in five minutes we're up to 600 degrees which is one of the really great things about the big green egg so also at these temperatures, you wanna be really cautious. You wanna burp your egg when you open it and so you don't get flashback. And now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take my steak that's been resting while I got that. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it on there for the sear. Our internal probe is telling us that we're at 110 on the Traeger. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, get it wrapped up and let it rest. Well, I kick my Traeger up to 500 degrees for that sear. We're at 500 degrees on the Ironwood 885. One of the things we love about these is they go all the way to 500 degrees. And we can also move this bottom shelf all the way down. And that's going to allow us to get that sear because we're closer to the flame. So we'll go ahead and put our probe in there, 500 degrees. You can actually see the flame right there. Shut this for oh, a couple minutes each side. Get that beautiful sear on the outside of this steak. Oh my, time to go ahead and pull this beauty. We're gonna put it on here, wrap it back up. Let it rest until we give them a try here in a couple of minutes. All right, we're gonna say that's pretty much perfect. Get my steak out. Got my pan going. It's gonna give it about a minute here on each side. While I, <clears throat> I have butter in that pan, I've got my pan turned all the way up. Give it a nice sear on each side of the steak. About a minute, just so we get a nice crust on there. It's gonna be perfect. That steak has a beautiful sear to it. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it back to my butcher paper, peach paper, whatever you have handy. You can use tin foil for this step as well. I'm gonna wrap this up. We're gonna give it five, 10 minutes, then we're gonna give all these steaks a try. So we're about 123 internal. We love that temp. We know that when we let this rest, it's gonna come up just a couple of degrees more. And we've got our sear on our beautiful piece of meat here. We're just gonna wrap this up rest and guess what it's time to eat all 
All right, so everything's rusted, ready to go. Oven Traeger Big Green Egg or Big Green Egg Traeger Oven. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these unwrapped, get them set out, and we'll get started seeing how we did. Of course, you see the, the grill marks on the Traeger and the Big Green Egg. You're not gonna have that with the oven. Oh, and by the way, I happen to find a guy that's pretty good with a knife. He's gonna help hey us guys. out today by cutting these steaks up. I don't know if I've ever used one of these before. And we'll give them a try. Which one do you wanna start with? And just whack them all in half, spin them around, and see how we did as far as the, the internal looks. Ooh. That's the much, oven. Pretty much nailed that one. That's the Traeger. And that's the big green egg. Beautiful. I would say just by looking at these, they're all pretty close. Wow. Nice job cooking. Man. Let's give them a try. try. Yeah. Help yourself. Pick up the butter flavor right away. Nice and juicy, nice and moist. And that's one of the great things about a reverse sear is you get that great outside texture, but the inside is done to perfection and you don't have really any danger of overcooking your steak. So for an oven cooked steak, unbelievable. Flavor, just, it's delicious. Nice crust on the outside, very, very good. And one of the reasons why I want to feature that is I think a lot more people have ovens and then the ability to get the cast iron skillet than the Traeger or the big green egg. So I kind of wanted to bring it down that to, to that level. Let's give the Traeger a try now. So we should, um, we expect a, uh, a smoky, a smokiness to this because obviously with the oven, we wouldn't have had anything like that. And I would expect this one to be probably a little bit juicier than what the oven would be as well. We did not do butter, um, picking up the, the original spice right off the bat. And the smoke. And the smoke, smoke, the smoke, smoke right, right behind it. So that part of it's really good. Very, very juicy, very moist. What uh, flavor of pellets did you use on this one? Hickory. Hickory, I thought so. All right. So oven, Traeger, which one you got? Um, Traeger a little bit better than the Just oven. Just because of the smoke flavor. Yep. Ready for the big green egg? I am. Just as tender, just as moist. Right off the bat, getting more of a char, more of a charcoal. Hits me right behind that with the, the Beard of Butcher blend original. A smoke kind of finishes with that, that smoke and that moist. A little bit more crust, but still. Boy, they're all really close. Just as juice is just absolutely running out of that steak. So let's recap. With, with regard to the method, it's called reverse sear. And the reason you call it reverse sear is you're going to be starting out with the um, cooler temp, usually around 225 till your meat reaches an internal of like, in this case, we did 110. We wanted to finish somewhere in that 125 range, which would be like a medium rare. And then um, depending on your different methods, you can, there are some interchangeable options. Um, one of those being the lodge cast iron. You can use the lodge cast iron on your stovetop. You can use it in your Traeger. You can use it in your big green egg. You can use a combination where you could first smoke in your Traeger or your big green egg and um, skip the process of heating that device up to get to the reverse sear. Um, you could just simply put the cast iron on your stovetop at home. Uh, so in other words, your big green egg or triggers outside doing the smoking, whenever it reaches the internal you want, you just literally carry the steak in, give it the sear in the pan. Um, you can use the Traeger to do the smoking, the big green egg to do the searing, vice versa. There's a lot of interchangeability there, but we, we just wanted to bring to you how you should approach it if you have A, 
uh, really expensive piece of meat. In this case, we use the filet, most expensive cut that we carry. And also it's a very lean piece. So we also wanted that to cross over to uh, those of you that have the wild game at home, because whenever you have um, something that's lean, expensive, or the combination of the two, you want to be really cautious with the cooking. So we hope this video helps you understand the best way to approach cooking the ultimate steak. Um, as always, continue to follow, subscribe the Beer Butchers here on YouTube, as well as Instagram and Facebook. And we'll continue bringing you some of the latest tips on how to butcher, and in this case, cook the meats that you have at home. Great job, man. Thank you. Good hey, job cutting it. Hey. This is the one that he cut up in the last video that we did where we did the side of beef. Don't forget, you want some of our products? Go to www.beardofbutchers.com, order some seasonings, get some sauce, maybe grab a knife, cutlery kit while you're there, hat, t-shirt, and um, we'll join you at the dinner plate.